Hey guys, it's Bro Uwak, and for this year's Summer Games event, yeah, we might not have gotten a lot of swimsuit skins, yeah, we might not have gotten a lot of heroes showing off their thigh meat, but what we did get is the cooler Daniel. <laughs> I love this year's Summer Games skins, mainly because it's the fifth Summer Games event, yet Blizzard is still coming up with some relatively good ideas and well thought out inspired skins for some of our favorite heroes. Yeah, they might not beat out like the second Summer Games event, but at least Blizzard is trying to show as much summer or love to a lot of these heroes. But hey, if you're still disappointed with this year's skin lineup, then there's always next year's Summer Games event. <laughs> right, right, Blizzard? It's not like you're gonna get rid of the Summer Games event right before you bring us Lifeguard Mercy, satisfying all of our fantasies, right? Because that, that'd just be cruel. <laughs> anyway, what I wanted to do for this week's Top 5 episode was to look at the Top 5 Best 2020 Summer Game Skins. Now, I already did this before with the 2019 and 2018 Summer Game Skins, so if you want to look at those top five episodes then you totally can what i wanted to do was just focus on this year's summer game skins and only this year's summer game skins so let's get started starting us off at the number five spot is a skin that i feel like people are gonna often forget about because there's not really anything going for the skin other than that this was inspired from batista's comic oh spoiler alert this is batista's tropical skin so this skin is unique if i do say so myself he's got regular clothes he's got a nice hawaiian shirt some white car go shorts and also clean looking Rolex but then his armor boots or his jet packy jumpy boys are made to look like as if they're made out of bamboo because this is a tropical skin <laughs> I guess I do like the little tiny umbrella on the back of his backpack because it's almost like it's made from those tropical drinks that you Oh, that's where the umbrella is from. It's from the drinks that you drink while you're on the island of indigenous people. Oh, I love it, Blizzard. <laughs> I think the gun is the main thing that people are gonna really like because it is made out of various tropical or island assets like coconut, bamboo, or little tiny leaves. It's well put together. But if it's not how the gun looks or how fresh Batiste looks in them shades, then it's probably the inspired story that you really like about the skin because this is from Batiste's What You Left Behind comic when he is at the Tiki bar with the FBI agent, I totally forgot his name, and Magua, he's wearing that same exact bluish teal shirt. Batista's armor, backpack, and even his sunglasses surprisingly aren't noticeable in this picture, so I'm sure they threw that together after they looked at this shirt and realized, yeah, we can make a summer game skin. But overall, this is relatively simple skin, which isn't bad, but compared to the other ones, yeah, th this is definitely a summer game skin, but not something that I would want to spend 3,000 credits on, unless I'm a Batista main like his glasses and his gun and even his armor is relatively cool the fact that they got it all centered around that island theme but other than that it's literally Baptiste as if he's on summer vacation I mean I can dress like this but not as cool as him and he'd probably get more girls so maybe that's why I should put it higher on the list but it's still at number five so coming in next at the number four spot is a skin that you knew was gonna come to this hero eventually it was just a matter of when and what event but for the summer games event this definitely makes sense because not only is it all about games but also competition so ladies and gentlemen at the number four spot it's doofus's karate skin or as they say in the Atlantic Ocean karate I like it if it's the character of doofus because I'm sure once doofus is done terrorizing new Bonnie and causing world destruction and just overall being a terrible dude he's probably running a dojo for six-year-olds to learn karate <laughs> he's got the traditional white karate outfit with meteor which is the same sponsor or company that Winston's baseball team has along with the highly coveted black belt which I'm extremely doubtful he he earned. Now, I ain't never taken karate in my life, but I did used to watch a lot of Star Wars, and one thing about Star Wars is that a Jedi knows when to give someone a lightsaber, and in this case, a lightsaber is a black belt, so I'm sure Doofus's sensei could sense in Doofus's heart that he was gonna be, mm, a terrorist, so why would he give him a black belt? Nah, he, he ain't ready for it. Probably stole it from a Kmart or something and is just flexing on all of us, saying, ho, 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 look at me, I'm a black belt. Nah, you a poser, bruh. But other than Doofus being a big fat liar, the only other thing that I don't really like about this skin is his gauntlet because this is the thing that makes Doomfist Doomfist and it's just a blue rubbery pad Doomfist you know what I mean like they could have done a lot more with it maybe add a little bit more details maybe add some Chinese or Japanese writing or just do something with it no 
it's just a protective pad for Doomfist's gauntlet that he's gonna use to one punch you. But overall, a very tasteful take on what a karate skin would look like, but still very simple at the end of the day, because that's the whole point. It's just a robe and a belt and maybe some slippers. Man, I wish they would've given him some cooler slippers because I would be real with you. <laughs> His slippers look very, very whack. But if that's what the traditional karate slippers are supposed to look like, then I'm sorry. But these just ain't the shoes that Doomfist would be caught dead wearing. Give him some Yeezys, give him some J's, shoot, even give him some Air Force Ones, but not these Tom looking slippers. <laughs> but now at the middle of our list is a skin that isn't out yet. And for whatever reason, there'll be some people that are upset that I'm putting a skin that isn't out yet on this list when it's like, uh, why? There's so many other things to get pissed off about the fact that TikTok is getting deleted in 44 days. Like, hello? Anyway, this skin is awesome. I love it because Bastion doesn't have a lot of good skins, but when you see Sand Casual Bastion come to life, specifically with a seagull bird with some cute sunglasses and a little tank top, you just melt inside. I know I can't be the only one that wants to see more Bastion skins just to see what Blizzard does to the bird. And since this is a summer theme, why not give Bastion the most summer bird of all time a seagull. But Blizzard wasn't gonna stop there. No, 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 no. They wanted this bird to outshine Batiste. Even though, yeah, he, he's cool. If you see him at the club, you kind of expect him. But when you see a bird rocking some round shades and a gay pride shirt, yeah, if he's rubbing up on your girl or up on your dude, you're gonna let him do that because you're not gonna tell off this bird. Well, well, why would you do that? Are you stupid? Are you dumb? Huh? No, of course not. And it's all because you know better. So I'm so happy Blizzard decided to bring a free episode epic skin where the bird is way cooler than the sandcastle bastion skin itself, which I guess is a nice added bonus. When you really think about it, they didn't really have to do too much. All they really had to do was change the colors of the classic bastion skin to match that of sand and also add a few colors like green, yellow, red, and blue and give him a sand pale helmet. <laughs> it really is cute. Bastion, man, I want him to get more skins, not only for the bird, but because he's adorable. While he is a robot, somehow Blizzard brings so much emotion and character Characteristics out whenever they do give him skins and this is surprisingly just another one He's out here vibing and having fun <laughs> word to flight reacts. It makes me happy. It makes me smile nice But at the second spot the runner-up for the best 2020 summer game skins is one that nobody expected Nobody really wanted initially, but they got used to it because it's either this one or nothing So why not get a lifeguard skin for Farah instead of mercy? I guess. I was in that boat where I really wanted a lifeguard mercy skin and they decided to give the other half of the pharmacy combo a lifeguard skin to Farah. Okay, Blizzard. Okay, I see you. I'm gonna have a chat with Jeff Kaplan next time I see him. If I ever see him. Cause he hasn't been back home ever since he left for the store. This skin is in tense. There is so much to dissect and just unravel with the skin. So let's just try to go from top to bottom. Farah is rocking a lifeguard helmet uh, okay, if I know anything about water, it's not really a solid, so I don't really think you need a helmet unless you're riding one of those cool like, dirt bikes, so maybe, I guess, but then you see her, her armor. So her armor has various lifeguard assets where her shoulders have the life preserver, and then you see water going through her jetpack wings, which I think is a nice and awesome addition. Her, her thigh pads are also those swimmy pads that you use to save people while in the ocean, and then that's it. She's not wearing any shoes, which I do like because you know me, I'm toe gang. But a cool little detail that you might have missed if you weren't a part of toe gang is that she does have a tan line from her flip flops. This is why I love Blizzard because it's little details like that that just goes unnoticed until someone brings it up and you just love the skin even more after seeing it. Plus she has a six pack, so now I'm really, really horny. In conclusion, this is a nice lifeguard skin. Again, I would have rather seen Mercy get the lifeguard skin because I want her to step on me rather than Farah. but this is a good substitute. Like, yes, I will still hire lifeguard Farah to be the dom that steps on me if she's the only one available. I'd rather want Mercy, but subs can't be choosers. <laughs> but there was one more skin brought to us in this summer games event that a lot of people enjoy, not because it has some sexual enduendos implied in it, which I don't think Lifeguard Farah has at all. I just kind of implied it myself, but it's because it looks fantastic. And this is Union Jack Face. <laughs> Come on now. Even people in London know that that skin isn't all that great. No, 
it surfs up Echo. I don't think Blizzard is ever gonna make a better legendary skin for Echo. One, because I'm sure it's the same as Bastion where it's hard to make an Echo skin because she is a robot. She is an inanimate object. Like, what can you really do? Give her wing surfboards? Oh wait, I'm sure on paper, the way that they describe the skin sounds so stupid. So we're gonna give her wing surfboards, then we're gonna have her armor be water, and then we're gonna give her a cool hairdo that kind of looks like she's just going down underwater, and then execution, Oh my god, it's beautiful. Like, like, I love her. I think it's the translucent skin with the water effect that makes me really fall in love with this skin. Because you see it throughout the entirety of the skin and in various parts. Like, obviously you see it in the head, and then you see it in the knees, the thighs, but even in the stomachs and various joints of her body. Even her fingertips, you can see that little effect too. The design choice is excellent. The color palette is phenomenal. Kind of reminds me of my logo when you really think about it. Like, it's the perfect summer skin for a robot like Echo, and that's why I think it deserves the number one spot. And no other legendary Echo skin will even come close to beating Surf's Up Echo, at least for the next couple of years. But anyway, guys, that was my list of the top five best 2020 summer game skins. Please let me know what your favorite skins were from this event, and I'll see you guys later. So I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. More Overwatch videos to come, and bye.